forecast. Nevada's primary election, meantime, is already breaking records in voter turnout after early voting wrapped up on Friday. But this Tuesday, Election Day will usher in some new technology and new polling places, which could affect your polling plans. News Street's Nathan O'Neill, live at the Grant Sawyer State Building now to explain. Yeah, Gerard, in terms of voter turnout, this year's primary is already outpacing every other primary that has come before it since about the year 2000. But if you are planning to head to the polls on Tuesday, you're going to see it's going to be a little bit different. You don't have to show up to a specific polling location like was required in previous years. Just like early voting, there's no one polling place for you. You can vote at any polling place. Now, there are several high-profile races at stake this Tuesday, including the primary battles for governor. Now, this year, Clark County is also rolling out some new voting machines with bigger touch screens and more security measures. That's all in place to protect the integrity of the voting process. While the county no longer assigns voting locations to every specific voter, some candidates worry that could throw a curveball at voters and compromise potentially tight races. But what's happened is a lot of the neighborhood precinct places we're used to vote are no longer there. And there's no evidence there that says, oh, by the way, if I show up where I'm supposed to vote. So I'm worried that you know, there could be several hundred thousand or at least several thousand people that show up, especially, as you said, late at night uh, on Election Day, and there's no place to go. And if you are confused about this, there are about 170 locations that you can go to any one of those sites to vote. And if you have a, your sample ballot, this map is actually included in that. You can pull it out and look at it and find any one of these red dots and it'll tell you a location that you could potentially choose to go and make your vote on Tuesday. Now coming up later on tonight on News 3, we're going to be diving into the hotly contested governor's race. We'll have much more on that coming up at 11. Reporting live tonight, Nathan O'Neill, News 3. All right, Nathan, with more than 100 and 